Hi everyone, it's Margaret here. Um, I'm back uh, with a uh, new journal that I've just completed. Um, this is a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, as much as I love doing um, journals about uh, pretty vintage ladies, I felt I needed a change, so I decided to do a little bit of a whimsical style journal. And uh, this one's called uh, Home Sweet Home. And as you can see, I have uh, shaped it uh, like a house. And um, the theme of this is all about uh, the comforts of home. Um, the cover here, as you can see, I've um, embellished the, uh, the entire roof in this uh, pretty uh, applique that came off a curtain. I've added some pearls and um, a little uh, uh, shabby flower here. And then what I've done is I've actually taken um, uh, the um, windows, made them out of, um, I covered uh, some cardboard shapes, uh, shaped like a window, and I added some netting behind it uh, to give it a little bit more of a raised uh, look to it. And uh, then I then I uh, added uh, these little uh, um, uh, valances on the top with some pearls and I don't know if you can see but there's a little kitty cat uh, sitting in the window so I've um, added a lot of little details to this one it was so much fun to do and of course the little uh, um, flower boxes underneath with some roses and then this uh, cute little front door with a rose wreath and it's got a little key as you can see and when you open it up it actually says uh, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home, and it says welcome. So that's the front door, and that's the cover of my little house journal. The first page, I did this in a theme of uh, a little mixing bowl, as you can see, and I took a little wooden spoon, I cut it off and embellished it with some pretty uh, uh, white lace and uh, seam binding so that sits in there and then inside the bowl um, I put this little recipe card and what this is is a, it's a recipe for a happy home and uh, that just fits inside the bowl nicely there and then of course uh, embellished with different laces and some wedding dress applique uh, and this beautiful uh, little crocheted uh, flower up here and uh, that's my little mixing bowl page. The next page is a little shabby heart. And uh, as you can see, it says, uh, home is where the heart is. And it's this pretty little cherub sitting in the middle. Um, and I did this in a little bit of a, a, a raised um, uh, lacy fabric, and then put a little bit of fringe, a little bit of uh, uh, appliques all around, and these pretty flowers. I still have a few left slowly running out, but I'll be sad when these are finished because they're just the, the perfect color. I really love these. And uh, added a little bit of lace so on this corner here just for some fullness and prettiness. And uh, that's Home is Where the Heart Is page. The next page, um, I did this like a, a, a little window and these two pretty little um, uh, girls looking out the window and then I created this uh, three-dimensional uh, these little trellises on either side of the window with some netting from uh, a doily and um, I just uh, did a cluster of different flowers and then I had this pretty little uh, green leaf vine that I added all around and I just tacked in some little roses all around to show that it's a, a climbing vine and uh, this says um, where there is love everything blooms so that was a little bit different it's a little bit more colorful added some uh, little fringes on the bottom here um, but that's that page the next page what would home be without a nice cup of tea um, this is a little uh, teacup that I um, that I did quilted and uh, then I just added again some different laces wedding dress appliques um, I embellished the top with these pretty flowers and a nice crystal piece here and then the teacup is dimensional and as you can see I used a real tea bag and what I did is I emptied it out of all its contents and then I just added this little um, 
uh, this little uh, poem here or a little saying. It says, life is like a teacup to be filled to the brim, enjoyed in the comfort of home with family and friends. So, and then I just added this little tab here that says home sweet home and just replicated a, a, a tea bag that fits right into the little teacup here. And that's the teacup page. The next page is all about giving thanks and this has a pretty little um, vintage child saying her prayers and uh, sh she's sitting on top of uh, a really thick layer of, um, of ruffled uh, lace all around and then uh, I added these little applique pieces to tack it down with some pearls and I added a little uh, um, a little dangle of bows which I uh, embellished in this little gold um, gold trim to give it a little bit of sparkle and that goes all the way down to its um, um, this little uh, applique bottom that I used with some pearls and that dangles off the page and then there's this pretty little collar in pearls that I've added on the bottom and as you can see this one just says giving thanks the pocket page, well, every home needs a mailbox. So I did this in a mailbox style and uh, I made it out of, um, out of lace uh, with a pretty satin um, lining and then put a little bit of um, um, tassel trim on the bottom and added some different colored flowers in the, in the pink and cream and a little bit of dangle um, trim here and as you can see the mailbox opens and you can put letters or all kinds of goodies in there um, if you want to keep something in in that page the next uh, the back I don't usually fuss over the back but I thought it would be really cute to do something whimsical so um, what I did was I created this little mouse hole and I just love it a little little mouse house and I added a little uh, a little uh, hanging sign that says home sweet home and then when you open it uh, you open the door and there's a cute little mouse and I put a little bit of a lace skirt on her and she's holding a little thimble so um, I just thought that would be kind of cute and whimsical to add that detail to it because every every happy house has a little mouse so um, I put that there and then you can uh, close it up it's got a little fastener here and that sits nicely on the back and then the spine is um, just some crocheted flowers with uh, a little bit of a, a pearl accents uh, in the center with some dangles. And then of course I had this little mouse um, and it was just a plain gray felt so I, I dressed it up in, the, in this pretty little lace dress with the beautiful little rose and she's got her little princess crown. So I thought that would be cute to add that as a little dangle. So this was so much fun to make, um, but I'll tell you it took me a long, long time. Uh, because of its size and its shape, it was a little bit more difficult to work with, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you like it, guys. Um, as I said, it was a lot of fun to do, and I uh, just wanted to try something different. So thanks very much for watching, and see you again soon. Bye for now.